Hi, my name is Siri and I work at the Brilliant Club. This university information advice and guidance session aimed at pupils in their final years of school is about what it's like to live at university. Most full-time undergraduate degrees in the UK take three to four years. This session will talk about the options for accommodation, what it's like to live at university, and how to help you make your university a home for the next three to four years. We'll also outline the different support services available at universities to help you through your studies. Most universities provide accommodation for all first year students in halls of residence, known as halls. Your maintenance loan will help cover the costs of accommodation. Most accommodation will be furnished with shared bathroom and kitchen facilities. Bills are typically included in your rent and university accommodation is often closer to lecture halls and teaching facilities. University accommodation may vary a bit in terms of the number of people you live with in a flat. You may also be able to choose an ensuite room, but this is often more expensive. You can also get same sex accommodation should you want to request this. There's also variation between catered and self-catered options. In self-catered accommodation, you're responsible for providing your own meals. In fully catered accommodation, all of your meals are provided for you, so your flat may not have full cooking facilities. Some accommodation is part catered, so you may get breakfast and dinner, but have to provide your own lunch or meals at weekends, for example. Many students choose to live out or rent accommodation privately, living with friends after their first year of university. In collegiate universities like Oxford and Cambridge, it's still quite common to live in your college beyond your first year of university. Living out means that you can choose who you live with as opposed to your first year of university where your flatmates are randomly selected. Bigger university cities often have student halls that aren't run by the university. You can also choose to rent a flat or a house from a private landlord. Universities have housing advice services to help you with this process. Living out can be a good step in increasing your independence, learning about paying bills and looking after yourself. Living at home might not be possible for all students, but if your university is a commutable distance from your home, you may be considering this option. 18% of university students in the UK live at home. This is particularly common in Scotland and London, for example. There are advantages and disadvantages of both choices, though living at home is typically much cheaper and allows you to keep in contact with home friends more easily. It can mean less independence and more time and money spent travelling to and from university activities, making it harder to get involved in your university. Living at university can offer more independence and ease of access to university facilities, but it's more expensive and involves the responsibility of looking after yourself. All universities will have sports and societies and a student's union, but may have different priorities for what else they offer. More historic universities might have world ranking research and library facilities. Newer universities with sprawling campuses might have more space to offer Olympic sized swimming pools and sports facilities. When deciding about which university to attend, it's worth thinking about which facilities you're likely to make use of. Some universities also have course specific facilities, such as rooms for mock legal trials for law students, recording studios for media students, performance and exhibition spaces for creative arts students, clinical facilities for nursing, medical and dentistry students to practice, and even fully functioning farms for agriculture students to gain experience. Although you become more independent when you live at university, that doesn't mean that you're alone. Universities have a range of support services and facilities available to you if you need help at any point during and sometimes even beyond your studies. Financial support services can help you with budgeting, getting evidence for student finance and help work out which bursaries, scholarships or hardship funds you may be eligible for. Most universities allocate students an academic advisor or tutor within their department. You'll typically meet your tutor once a term. They can help you manage your workload or explain rules for extensions or support if there are extenuating circumstances preventing you from doing your university work. Career services arrange information events about specific careers and job fairs with different employers. They'll help you write your CV and cover letters and can even offer mock interviews and assessment centre practice. At most universities, you can continue to access the career service even after you graduate. Universities are committed to making sure that all students get the most out of their university experience and making university an inclusive environment for all.
Each university will have a support service for students with disabilities or learning support needs. They might make teaching adjustments like arrangements for your lectures to be recorded, help make arrangements for your exams and ensure that facilities are accessible to you. Universities also offer dedicated mental health support services, sometimes called a well-being service, and you can go to them with any kind of mental health worry. And some are also able to offer therapy and counselling or put you in touch with organisations that can provide those services. If you'd like something confidential, anonymous and over the phone, you can call Nightline, a listening support and information service run by students for students. Universities have virtual tours of their campuses and facilities. Have a look and see where students live, study, eat and spend their free time at universities around the UK. Thanks for watching.